My role this morning is to formally welcome all of you to this latest round of meeting in the partnership between the government of Ghana and the African Union Secretariat, which is taking place in Accra. And especially to our foreign partners from ECOWAS, from AU, and the development partners, let me say that your presence is ample testimony of your commitment to help us in Ghana and to deepen our institutional foundations towards sustaining democratic governance and peace. This meeting, today's meeting, is a culmination of a long journey, a long journey of close to four years when Ghana accepted the partnership of the AU to avail the country's structural vulnerability and resilience assessment and the mitigation strategy tools in our efforts towards the structural prevention of conflict and consolidation of peace and stability in our country. And we are honored, really honored, by this partnership, which we believe places our country as first to embark on this exercise. And please permit me, while welcoming you, to take you back down the memory lane of our country. We've had quite an interesting political evolution, a checkered one. Our attempts at democratic governance had been punctuated in the past, mostly by military coup d'etat, which often affected the establishment of independent and also true national institutions, Republican constitution, and the year in which Ghana once again embraced democratic governance. And since then, our country, we believe, has made giant strides, giant strides in putting in place not only resilient structures, and we are proud to observe that our foundation pillars of good governance indeed have stood the test of time. And we are proud to welcome you, our foreign friends, to our country, a country that we believe now has a well-functioning and effective horizontal and vertical accountability institutions. Talk about the Commission of Human Rights and Administrative Justice, our Economic and Organized Crime Office, our Office of the Special Prosecutor, the National Commission for Civic Education. We also have a vibrant parliament, an impartial judicial system, and a free, very dynamic media, just to mention but a few. And we are proud to observe that all these institutions are sufficiently independent to hold the executive to account. And on top of it all, there is a National Peace Council to resolve conflicts that emerge and ensure peace and stability in our country. And for all this, you have to give thanks to successive governments. Successive governments have taken steps to deepen democracy in our country and worked to bring governance through decentralization also to the people. And let me emphasize, and we do so, we maintain all these accountability institutions and mechanisms in the knowledge that the practice of democratic governance demands active checks and balances, and above all, independent accountability institutions and mechanisms. Without them, the can not be any real democratic governance. But I must also admit that there is still room for strengthening the resilience of our institutions to enable the government and also the people of Ghana to establish a very solid and irreversible foundation for the country. 
And it's against this background that we find the country's structural vulnerability and resilience assessment and its related mitigation strategy so relevant and so welcome. And while you are here in our country, I also want to invite you to find out more about how our country is pursuing a vigorous policy of industrialization to provide job opportunities for the teeming youth of our country through government's flagship program of one district, one factory. Please also find out how we have embarked on social intervention policies such as free education at both basic and intermediary uh, senior high school levels to make education accessible to all in the country. And we are providing affordable medical care. Above all, we are also planting, planting for food and jobs to engage the hundreds of thousands of youth in the agricultural industry. Again, our foreign friends, we welcome you to find out how we are working at enhancing financial inclusion of all sectors of society, whilst also working at stopping financial leakages within the system in order to maximize revenue collection for our rapid developmental agenda. And distinguished ladies and gentlemen, again, you are welcome. You are welcome to explore and to learn more about our journey to deepen good governance. Today's event will not mark an end in our engagement with the AU and its structures, we believe. Rather, we see it as a catalyst, a catalyst towards further partnership between Ghana and the AU and to explore other horizons, not only to benefit Ghana, but the entire African continent. And colleagues, speaking as the Minister for National Security, with a responsibility to silence the guns and to make sure that the country is stable at all times, I'm all too aware that today's meeting comes against the backdrop of renewed civil conflicts on the African continent and, in fact, military coup d'etat. The latest rounds of coup d'etat in the African continent can constitute serious break to democratic governance. We consider that very much part of the solution is the urgent need to deepen the structures of democracy and practice good governance in all African countries. And this indeed is what we see ourselves as doing. But before I end, please join me to thank most sincerely our senior presidential advisor. He has personally devoted his time and made himself available to champion the work of the committee in reviewing the document. He has followed closely its implementation stages and we want him to know how encouraged we are that going forward he will continue to be the champion of this exercise. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you all for taking part in this event and I wish you very, very fruitful deliberations. Thank you.